What's up guys, this is English Grammar Explained and so this time in this video I will show you how to change your sentence from active into passive. It is all about how to make passive. If I have a simple sentence just like this, Stella wrote a letter, so here I have active, this is active, active voice. And this is my subject, this is my main verb, and this is my object. So this is subject, it's the main character of my sentence, if you will. Then I have main verb, or just verb, and then I have object. So. When I make passive voice, I place my object on the first position here, a letter, and that will be my new subject. Then I change my main verb into passive form. Here I have past, simple, so in the passive, I will also have past simple. A letter was written. And then I place by. And then I place my former subject. Now it is not a subject, it is so-called agent. And I place it here. So, this is my passive. Basically, I change my main verb and then I replace Stella with object and the object is replaced by subject and this is it. Very, very easy. Here my object becomes new subject. Now it is subject because uh, the whole sentence is about it. Then I have my main verb. Uh, basically, it doesn't really change, but it just ter turns into passive form. And here I have this former subject. Here it is called agent. And pay attention. By appeared before my agent. There is no by in my sentence number one here but here i have by before my agent it's a rule i have to place by here and from all this i can draw some rule or some conclusion if you will and because my sentences basically consist of three main parts i can draw some table and here I have subject because I have subjects in active and in passive. Then main verb and then object. And of course I have agents in passive. So here I have active and here I have passive. Let me have some more uh, simple example. Team will buy in the future a new house. This is active. Because team actively will buy uh, something, a new house in this case. I have my subject, I have my main verb, I have an object, but I don't have any agent. There is no agent in active voice. Nothing. But if I want to make passive, I do this. A new house from here is placed here 
and this is my new subject this is it the main character of my sentence if you will then i change my main verb will be bought and here i don't have any object because my object has gone here and there is nothing here but i have to put team somewhere and team here becomes my agent by team and team here is not a subject it is my agent and that's basically that's uh, that's the whole recipe for my passive i put object in place of subject and then i put subject in place of agent there are some other tricks in this rule for example the tree was cut with a saw here as before i have my subject which basically doesn't do anything then i have the main verb here in passive voice that is past passive and then i have this mysterious preposition with instead of by and then i have agents what's the point why don't we uh, put here by just like before just like here well here i cannot uh, put by because here i have a tool and a saw well it doesn't do anything without uh, some person without a man or a woman or whatever somebody has to cut this tree with a saw this saw itself doesn't do any action and if i have ingredients or materials or tools as an agent i have to put with with all these things because they are some kind of medium between the person and the subject here when i use by i actually show who or what did the action but if i use with i only show that the action was done with the help of something and that's it and this is all for now just remember this scheme just remember this rule what is used on which position and that's it this is all for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.